Good, so we'll start in easy seated position, however that is for you. Um, hips elevated if possible. Yeah. And just tucking our feet one in front of the other. Hmm. Good. Hmm. And finding our hands onto our knees. Nice and tall, erect spine, taking a deep breath into the nose and out through the mouth. Clearing breath to start. And noticing the muscles in our faces soften with each exhalation. The shoulders melting away from the ears. And our bodies settling, settling into the space around us. Allowing our breath to assume its natural rhythm in through the nose and out through the nose. And just bringing our awareness to the sounds, the smells, the temperature of the room. The gentle breeze from outside and the chirping of birds. Checking in with the body to notice the mood and the energy that we're starting our practice with today. if we feel heavy or light, still or restless. And doing a little bit of breath work at the beginning. Three big breaths into our lungs for a count of five. Holding at the top for a count of five. And releasing with a big exhalation through the nose. And pausing at the bottom before we take our next breath in. that two more times, filling the lungs, expanding the rib cage laterally. And slowly exhaling all the air within us, following the breath through to the end and noticing the pause at the bottom. our eyes open, wrapping our hands around our knees, and we're going to start to circle gently in one direction, slowly starting to warm into our bodies, becoming aware of our physical sensations and any areas of blockage or tension. We'll focus a little bit more on opening the hips and the side body today. Rhythm works. And when you're ready, go ahead and circle the other direction, pressing the knees away. And to get a little bit of depth in the circle. our ocean breath in the back of our nose for calm. 
calming, restoring our inner balance. One more time around. And then we'll meet back in the center, switching the position of our feet. Sit in front. Good. Let's bring our hands both to the front of our foot or shin. And together we'll lift one arm up, inhaling. And then on the exhale, we lower it back down. Switching arms, inhaling. And exhaling lower. Alternating sides just like that. Big breaths in, following our gaze, the hand with our gaze. And using the front of the foot as leverage in order to start twisting the body a bit as we slowly open up. Going to the rhythm of our breath. Next one, we're going to rotate the arm all the way around. Coming up on our fingertips, pressing the earth away, elongating the spine, looking over the shoulder. Big breaths in, nourishing all the tissues in the upper back and the neck. Big breath. And then on the inhale, we lift the arm up. And exhale, bring it back around. Reset, rolling the shoulders back and down. Good. We'll do the opposite arm, inhaling up, rotating all the way around up on top of the fingers, pressing the earth away, lengthening the spine from tailbone to crown of head, looking over the opposite shoulder, big breaths in. Visualize the breath coming into any areas of discomfort, expanding and releasing tension at each exhale. Two more breaths. And then on the next inhale, we'll bring our arm all the way back up and exhaling around. Resetting, lifting and rolling the shoulders back. Good. We'll remove our cushions. If you are using one, we'll go ahead and straighten the legs out before we get into our side bends. Give them a little wiggle. Oh. Making sure our sit bones are firmly planted on the mat. Uh, keeping our feet flexed. Micro bend in the knees, however, they are naturally flexing the feet. Toes are pointed up. We're going to inhale, reach up. Exhale, rotating the body, looking back behind us, bringing our arms along the side of the mat. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, opposite side, reaching back, lowering and rounding the spine. Inhale, stack the arms. Exhale, back to the first side. Reaching back. Inhaling, reaching up. Going to the rhythm of our breath. Toes are pointed up to the sky. Doing a good 
stretch in the low back and the back of the legs. Continuing with our Ujjayi breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Finding that inner balance of peace yeah. from within. Big reaching up, big breath in. And now holding on the next time we lower, looking back towards the back hand, allowing the head to hang heavy, noticing the energy pattern running from shoulder to shoulder, lower back to neck. Just holding here for a few breaths to breathe through any areas of discomfort. Sinking deeper into the pose as any blockages start to release. One more breath. And on the next inhale, we reach all the way up, stacking the arms. Exhaling, lowering to the opposite side, looking back again, keeping the toes flexed to the sky, letting the head hang heavy. Using the breath to find stable stability within. And to help us move through any blocked energy. Two more breaths here. And on the next inhale, we lift the arms all the way back up. Exhaling, forward folding. Reaching towards the shins, the ankles, the feet, whatever feels comfortable. Allowing the head to hang heavy between the arms. And creating space between the vertebrae. Next inhale, we lift our torsos back up, stacking the vertebrae one at a time. Shoulders, neck, and head. Give the feet a little wiggle. Mm. Right. And once again, we're bringing our feet back in. Easy seated pose. We'll do a few side bends here. planting the sit bones. Let's go ahead and lift the left arm. Right hand comes to the earth up on the fingertips and we slowly walk the fingers out while driving the left hip down. Breathe into the left side body, supporting ourselves with our right arm, right hand, palm firmly planted into the ground, reaching the left arm over our ears. Breathing deeply, expanding the left side. Keeping the sit bones planted, perhaps walking down onto the forearm. Elongating and reaching. Go 
ahead and lower the left arm forward on the exhale. Then inhaling, lifting the left arm up over the head. Exhale, we round forward, working into the left side of the lower back and the hip. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, rounding, lowering. Gentle rotation, a bit of a dynamic movement to slowly start breaking into the area. Keeping our sit bones planted, keep rounding in the mat. Visualize opening the left side body with each breath expansion. Remaining down in your exhalation pose. Gentle twist, touching both fingertips or hands to the earth. And slowly walking around to the front of the mat. Forward folding here, sinking into the hips, reaching the hands out. Reaching, reaching. Leaning your torso over the hip joint. Melting into the hips. And we actively press the knees away. Maybe feeling this in the back of the hips and into the glutes. We melt slowly with each exhalation. Inhale, we walk our fingers all the way back in. Let's give ourselves a big hug, bringing the knees up. Slowly. Good. Oh, hug them in, wrapping our arms around, bringing the knees together as best as possible. Maybe feel good to rock side to side. Notice if there's a difference in the sides of the hips at this point or the lower back. And inhaling, lifting our heads back up. Let's bring our feet back down. We'll do the opposite side. Gentle transitions. Finding the placement of our feet. Good. This time bringing our left hand out to the side, up on the fingertips, right hand comes over the shoulder. And on the exhale, we'll slowly walk ourselves over to the left, driving the right hip down into the mat. Reaching our right arm over the ear. Slowly noticing the lower back on the right side and the hip joints start to melt towards the earth. Breathing into the side body, creating space. Lowering ourselves down to the forearm as and when possible. May not be today. But it will happen. Reaching, reaching. Notice 
noticing what's happening in our jaw. We might be holding our tension there. Just being conscious of letting it go. Deep breaths in. On the exhale, we round forward. On the inhale, we lift the arm back over the ear, opening up the chest. Exhale, we round slightly forward. Inhaling, we reach back up. Breaking through the connective tissue, any cobwebs that may be blocking our movements and our breath. And we stay in our rounded position, maybe bringing the opposite hand down to the earth, keeping our sit bones firmly planted on the mat, melting into the right hip, and through the lower back, breathing into any areas of discomfort, and letting it go. Deep breaths in. And then with the left hand, we'll slowly press ourselves forward, coming out of that, walking our hands to the front, reaching long. Once again, driving the hips back as we reach forward, elongating the spine. And then slowly melting to the earth. Inhalation, we lift ourselves up, stacking the vertebrae one at a time. Dragging the hands back in towards our feet. Stacking the shoulders, neck and head. Good. Go ahead and extend the left leg long on the mat. Opening up into a seated tree. Good. Hmm. Right arm comes up over the shoulder. And we lower over to the left side. Once you get side bent here, reaching the left hand towards the inner leg, the foot, what have you. Keeping the foot flexed, toes are pointed up. Slowly starting to add an inner thigh stretch. Feel free to bring the hands to the head for support or to alleviate any extra weight of the arm as needed. Good. Big breaths in, reaching the right arm over the ear and slowly lowering on the exhale, rounding our torsos over the extended leg, bringing both hands together or on either side of the foot, knee, or leg. Good. Option to press the earth away, slowly warming into the hamstrings and calf muscles. 
keeping the foot flexed, toes pointed out. And then slowly hinging at the hip as the muscles slowly release the tension. Option, of course, to visualize the lengthening of the back of the leg. Breathing through the areas, but also visualizing a waterfall flowing down. Unobstructed, smooth, clear water. Checking in with the sensations in the lower back on the right side. Not pushing ourselves too far, too fast. We're not here to create stress. We're here to release it. Assuring our bodies that we're in a safe place. And it's okay to do so. Lifting our torsos up, walking ourselves back to the center. While tucking our left foot in, we'll extend the right leg long, slow transition. Extending the right leg, lifting the toes up. Deep breaths in, we lift our left arm over the shoulder. And slowly we hinge over to the side, allowing the right arm to fall inside the right leg. Taking a few breaths here to touch base with the left side body. Making sure we can move our neck around, finding a nice place for it. Wherever we find some yumminess. Good. Deep breaths in. And on the exhale, we roll forward, rotating the torso so that it's now over top of the extended leg, flexing the toes up, hinging at the hip, maintaining a tall spine, and only lowering down as and when the back of the right leg is ready to do so. Perhaps this time we visualize sunlight warming the muscles, melting away the discomfort, creating light and space. Once again, checking in with the lower back, this time on the left side. Making sure we're not pushing ourselves too far. Noticing our breath change. If it becomes labored, we know we're pushing too hard and we just ease off a bit. Slowly on the next inhale, we lift our torsos back up, walking our hands, stacking the vertebrae, and then back to center, rotate. Let's go ahead and extend the legs, both of them. I think that'll feel good. Wiggle them out. <laughs> yes. Wiggle the feet. Crack, 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 crack. Oh. 
And let's go ahead and make our way onto all fours, bringing our knees underneath us, the hands under the shoulders. We're taking a sip of water in between, if you like. Mm. Yes. Mm. Slowly settling into the pose, shifting the hips left and right, allowing the head to follow, wagging our tails, slowly starting to look back at the foot. Once again, just taking note of what might be happening down the side body, into the lower back and the hips. And we'll go ahead and slowly circle around, pushing our hips back to our feet. And then lifting up back over the hands, slowly circling, adding our lateral flexion, finding a rhythm and a motion that feels good. Breathing in curiosity and new air, exhaling any stagnant air and energy. Exhaling any expectation of how we should be moving. Simply honoring the state our body is in today. Find a comfortable place to transition. Go ahead and start moving in the opposite direction. Noticing any new patterns on this side, different sensations, or a different range of motion or speed. Continuing with our deep breaths, nourishing the tissues. That deep exhalation in the back of our throat, through the nose and the nasal cavity. We'll do one more big breath. Meet up in all fours, curling our toes under our shins, deep breaths in through the nose, and on the exhale, we lift our hips up into down dog, pressing the heels back, straightening the legs to start, pressing away with our hands, allowing our heads to hang heavy. Finding stillness in this moment. Good. Bending both the knees together. We're going to circle around a little bit, just a little bit. Lowering and lifting, lowering and lifting. Working into the fronts of the feet, the ankles, the knees, the hips. 
And one more time on this direction. And then we'll switch directions. Two. Extend the heels back out, maybe sinking a bit deeper into our down dog, melting the chest and the armpits towards the earth. Big breaths in once again, noticing the expansion of our rib cages laterally. And then we'll bend one knee at a time, pedaling the feet, lifting the heel, bending the knee, left and right, alternating at your speed. Slowly starting to shift the weight into one leg, pressing the heel into the earth. Maybe even starting to rotate the shoulder to that same side. Gentle rotation. Noticing what's happening down the side of the leg. Possibly feeling this running from the lower back, down the outer leg, the knee, all the way through to the ankle. Explore. Find a fluid movement or motion that feels good. And that helps us break up our tension. Gaining a bit more mobility each time through. One more big breath. And we'll come back to center, lowering our knees all the way down to the earth child's pose. Bringing our feet together, walking the hands up and sinking the hips back. Mm. Staying high in extended child's pose, shifting the hips left and right. Allowing the head to hang heavy between the arms. Lowering the forearms to the earth and the forehead if that feels good. And taking a few breaths here, finding stillness. Noticing any new energy that may be running through our body. A new lightness. A little bit of clarity. inner peace. And on the next inhale, we'll draw ourselves back up into all fours. Curling our toes underneath one more time. Deep breaths in. And on the exhale, we lift our hips up. Down dog. Pressing the heels towards the earth. Lifting the kneecaps as we engage the quadriceps to work and open the back of the legs a little bit more. Kind of bend the right knee, lifting the left, lifting the right heel off the earth, lifting the left hand off the mat. We're going to reach around, grabbing onto the shin, 
the outside of the right leg somehow. On the exhale, we're going to slowly start to press the heel towards the earth. Slowly gaining a little bit of flexibility in the right side of the leg. Channeling energy from the right hand through the right shoulder, down the side of the back all the way through the leg like a big waterfall flowing all the way down two more breaths pressing the earth away pressing the heel down and floating the left hand back to position. Go ahead and paddle the feet out. Good. And slowly melting the right heel into the mat, lifting the left heel up, bending the left knee. And we'll reach around with the right hand this time. Gentle rotation of the spine, breathing into the right upper back. And with each exhalation, we slowly lower the left heel towards the earth. Noticing any energy patterns from the left hand. Follow the light all the way through the left shoulder, down the back, through the hip, side of the left leg, and into the left foot. Creating lightness creating space with each breath. Pressing the earth away a bit more, allowing the head to hang heavy. One more big breath here. And go ahead and float the right hand all the way back lowering the knees child's pose once again walking the hands out flattening the feet and sinking the hips back option to shift our weight left and right or to find stillness whatever feels better for you in this moment of practice our torsos on the inhale. Go ahead and walk the hands over to the right, gripping the fingers into the earth, elongating and lengthening the spine. Deep breaths in. And we exhale, sinking over the hips, driving the left hip still towards the earth. Noticing the hip flexor on the left side start to release. And our torso slowly melt towards the earth. Inhaling, lifting up. And walking the hands over to the left. Deep breaths in when we get there. Elongating the torso and exhaling, we lower over top, sinking the right hip back this time, not letting it float up, melting our chests and our torsos to the earth. Letting our heads hang heavy between the arms if that feels good. Deep breaths in, we lift our heads and our torsos. And then we walk ourselves back to center. Good. Inhale, we reach ourselves up. 
curling our feet underneath us or crossing our feet and sinking back. We're slowly making our way onto our backs as slowly as possible. Good. We're going to start with our feet together and then lower ourselves down. Ooh. One vertebrae at a time, using our abdominal muscles, <laughs> maybe the feet float up. <laughs> and allowing our feet to stay firmly connected. Our hips are on the mat. Our lower backs assume their natural curvature. Allowing our arms to float open, palms are facing up. Taking a few deep breaths here. And reflecting on any intention we may have set at the beginning of our practice. Here, we'll draw the right knee into our chest to hug it while keeping the left leg in a half diamond. Gently curling the knee in, keeping our shoulder blades firmly planted. The fingers are interlaced over top of the shin. Notice now what's happening in the left hip, the outer hip, the leg, the glute. You might feel different sensations than when the leg is extended long on the mat. If it becomes uncomfortable, we can extend the leg long on the mat. Trying to stay present in this moment and with any discomfort, breathing through it knowing that every sensation, emotion, and feeling changes over time. Staying with it long enough to witness the transformation. And knowing that we can come back to the breath in order to work through it. Go ahead and extend that left leg long. Mm. Hugging the right knee a little bit tighter into the chest, keeping the shoulder blades on the mat. And releasing the left hand with the right hand wrapped around the knee, we're slowly gonna open the knee, holding onto it. back to center, bringing the left hand to the outside of the right knee, and we're slowly going to rotate over to the left side, opening up the right arm, floating it outwards, and gazing over to the right shoulder, right hand, right arm, as we rotate to the left. Breathing in to the lower back. Keeping our hand on top of the knee if it's not too intense. And remembering to breathe deeply. Drawing the air into any of those areas of discomfort. And staying present with it.
One more big breath here. And then on the next inhale, we rotate back to center. Elongating the right leg all the way down. And allowing the lower back to reset. And then slowly we draw the feet back together, coming back into our diamond. Resetting. And then we draw the left knee into our chest, keeping our right knee in the half diamond, interlacing the fingers around the top of the knee or shin, and drawing the left knee towards our chest. Noticing any sensations in the right hip, the glute, the right leg. Staying with any discomfort. Noticing how it changes. Three more breaths. And then go ahead and elongate the right leg long on the mat, hugging the left knee in a bit tighter to the chest. Letting the right arm fall open. The left hand on the left knee opens it up. Keeping our hips facing the sky. This doesn't have to be a big movement. Just a small opening of the left hip. back over the chest. Bringing the right hand to the outside of the left knee, opening the left arm, and then rotating over to the right as we gaze to the left. Gentle spinal twist. Keeping our hand on the top of the knee if that feels comfortable. And letting it go, of course. Nourishing the tissues along the spine with every inhalation. Maybe visualizing a ribbon dancing up the spine, wrapped around, and massaging it as it goes. left leg long on the mat, allowing the palms to fall open. Drawing both knees into the chest will give them a big hug, lifting our shoulders and head off the earth. 
Hugging in as tightly as possible with a little ball. And on the inhale, we're going to plant our feet and reach our arms over our head. Exhaling, we curl back into a little ball. Inhaling, floating the feet to the earth, arching the lower back. Arms come somewhere to the earth, above the head or to the side of the body. Exhale, we come back into our little ball. Inhale, we float open, maybe even butterflying the legs this time. Exhale, we float back in. Floating with the rhythm of our breath. Opening and contracting. like little butterflies coming out of our cocoon. Last one. to the sides of our body, opening our knees, bottoms of the feet are together. One more breath. And then on the next inhale, we'll stack the knees once again over the feet, walking the feet to the edges of the mat. And we'll windshield wipe with the legs left to right, slowly rolling the feet inwards and outwards. Keeping our shoulder blades Firmly connected to the mat. Allowing the knees to fall open as they do naturally. Not forcing them. Again, noticing what's happening in the lower back, the hip, and now the hip flexor running through the pelvis down to the knee. One more on each side. Inhale the center. Exhale, we lower. Stacking the knees. And go ahead and cross the right leg over the left knee all the way down into eagle and then last time twisting over to the right keeping our shoulder blades firmly planted extending the arms wide if that feels good 
We're bringing our hands onto our belly to notice the rhythm of our breath. Perhaps check in with our emotion center. Option, of course, is float the arms over the head. Noticing the psoas that runs through the pelvis into the hip flexor. Using our ocean breath to still the waters. Finding our inner peace. One more big breath here. And on the next inhale, we'll stack our knees back up. Untwining them, bringing the right foot to the outer edge of the mat, crossing the left foot over the left, over the right knee, coming into eagle legs, and lowering the knees over to the left finding a placement for our arms. Maybe checking in with our bellies. Maybe floating our arms over our head again. Staying present with any areas of discomfort. or option to bring our attention and awareness to our mind's eye, to our happy place, visualizing the colors, the scenery, the sounds and the smells. more breaths here. On the next inhale, we bring our knees back up, elongating the feet all the way down on the mat, reaching our hands over our heads, arching the lower back. Breathing all the way through the abdomen into the lower back, to the base of the spine. Noticing the expansion of the abdomen and the lower back, the sacrum. One more deep breath here. And then allowing the arms to float back along the sides of our bodies. The lower back assumes its natural curvature. You notice the contact of our bodies on the earth below, the back of our head, the shoulder blades, the back of the arms, elbows, and hands. The hips. Maybe the back of the legs, calf muscles, and heels. Taking a moment to repeat an affirmation in our minds. Powerful and empowering I am or I have statement over and over and over. With whatever word resonates most with us today, the 
will help us. Curl up into a little ball. Rolling over to the side, pressing ourselves back up, coming back to the space around us. Pressing up gently. Rotating back to center. Bring our palms of our hands together when we get there. I'm giving thanks for this community. <laughs> the peace and joy that yoga has brought us. And the connections that it's given us. Thank you for staying with me and practicing with me. The light in me. Sweet light in me. Namaste.